In my other video, I showed you how to place back the pin of your chain to your uh, outer plate of your chain. Now, these are other methods I'll teach you. Uh, this is the symbol of the chain tool. This goes inside there, like this. Now, if it gets broken, this usually gets broken. Don't throw it away because you can convert it into a tool to place back the pin into your chain. So if you don't have uh, a broken one, you'll have to sacrifice a new one and then cut this with your grinder and then smoothen it. It has to be smooth. So like this. Huh? So I removed the thimble. You call this thimble. I removed this and I'll show you how to use this uh, chain cutter or chain tool to place back the pin in your outer plate in case you accidentally push it off completely because without any special tool it's impossible to place back the pin so remember if you are working on your chain you push the pin only up to this portion don't push it off entirely so that you can push it back with your chain tool now if you accidentally push it entirely uh, this video is to teach you how to easily place back the pin on your outer plate so that you can continue to push it and assemble your chain so these are the outer plates these are the inner plates and this is the roller or bearing uh, goes there then place it in your tool and then twist it push it back in assembling your chain so we'll push back the pin or place back the pin in your outer plate using this method uh, we'll use a conventional chain tool where we have removed uh, the thimble there so it's flat already it's not like this anymore So we have removed this already, okay? So put it in your bench vise. If you don't have any bench vise, you can uh, hold it with uh, your vise grip so that it will be in position. Now just uh, get your the tool. By the way, you imagine that. Uh, there's a length of chain here and then the right side of the chain dangles here so I just cut it for video purposes so just place your inner plate inside the outer plate like that place it uh, in the left portion of your chain tool not the right portion this portion near the wall here place it there and then get uh, get a small piece of nail or screw and then align the holes okay so that it won't move while you're doing it yeah so okay align the holes so that the roller will be in position and it will align with the holes on the outer plates so you need to have this uh, surgical tweezers because this locks in place there's a lock here so that you can hold it because your fingers won't fit there now you can use a long nose pliers but you have to tie a rubber band so that the pin will be held in place by the long nose otherwise it will drop so place it there and then tie a rubber band you will imitate this uh, surgical tweezers and then just align your pin at the hole of the outer plate here okay to make it snug I usually cut a piece of aluminum from a 
uh, what's this soda can and just place it here so that it will be snug okay once in position you just turn turn your chain tool until the pin is pushed back to the outer plate be sure that while turning the pin is going inside at a straight line not at an angle so that you won't damage your the hole of your outer plate otherwise if it's in an angle you might enlarge the hole and your chain will be practically useless because it might break while on the road so again push it with your improvised pin pusher okay now check sometimes you have to make uh, several attempts but uh, hopefully this is inside already okay now to be sure just put it in further push it in further just a little bit and then cross your fingers <laughs> okay let's see if it's there okay I think it's there so first attempt is a success so you place back the pin and then you can continue to uh, push it with your chain tool entirely okay so that's another method so instead of uh, throwing this away if uh, it gets broken meaning if the thimble gets broken this usually gets broken especially on cheap made in China tools but you know you can still use the remaining portion to push the pin in place in case you accidentally push it out completely so now we go to the next method so for this other method you need a, a piece of metal bar we call this we'll call it anvil so one quick way is to as, as shown in my other video you hold it with your metal tweezers and then align the pin there and then hammer it and that's it but the danger is that if you don't hammer it properly this has a tendency to fly and it's hard to look for this once it flies especially if you're on grassy or uh, dirty area where there's a lot of debris so it's better to use this method so that you don't accidentally uh, make this fly when you're hammering of course you can get extra pins from your chain the problem is you might not have the correct size of chain for your particular job because the sizes of chains vary so if you use just one chain no problem you can interchange but you might be using a chain for uh, 8 speed, 7 speed, 9 speed, 10 speed so as you go up uh, the chains usually get smaller so the pins on your smaller chains might not fit the pin hole for this particular chain so anyway going back to this demo just position it like this put something below because there should be an opening here for your other uh, for your uh, what's this vice grip so this is again an easy method of placing back the pin so just position the pin again at the hole and then wait we'll make the space below bigger so that the teeth of the vice grip would fit so I just enlarged the opening here so that my vice grip can fit so again position the pin at the hole and then just squish it with your vice grip sometimes you need two hands initially you have to use two hands <coughs> 
don't remove it yet you'll notice uh, you'll know when to stop uh, with practice so again I use two hands usually squish it a few times <coughs> and I think it's in, uh, in already so I think it's in there that's a sign that it's in because uh, if it's not inside the outer plate this will usually fall so there you've successful uh oh we have to repeat it okay no problem we repeat it again so we have to push the vice grip uh, a little bit stronger this time so again I use two hands <coughs> Okay, let's see. I hope uh, it's there already. Okay. So, let's remove the tweezers. There, it's there already. So, again, you can uh, assemble this. Uh, put your uh, inner plate there. By the way, the inner plate already has a pin because we've used this as a sample demo kanina, uh, earlier. So, that's in. That's it, no? So, ah, this one, this one. So, put your inner plate and then close it up with your uh, chain tool. So, you have, so these are the methods of placing back the pins by means of your improvised pin pusher or by means of uh, an anvil and a vice grip. So, you have no excuse anymore. So, you don't throw away your good chain just because you accidentally popped out the pin because it's easy to place back the pin. Okay? Time for coffee. Oh, yeah.